I will I have a couple of slides telling about basic responsibility tools that we have in uh, race online operations. And uh, I go with these through quite rapidly, so, but I think they, uh, they are nice to know maybe afterwards if somebody is eager enough to check what's happening. First of all, um, to point out that how big our in, uh, internet operations are, they are only about 7.7% .7 of our last year's gaming revenue. And like uh, it was said here earlier uh, by Francesco Rodano, we have, uh, we have not seen big explosion in uh, online operations. They are growing faster than our uh, operations altogether, but this year, beginning of this year, they have been going up about 7.8% and, for example, our gaming locations have been going up 2.4%. But if you compare the uh, money involved, uh, about 3%, it's uh, much more from gaming locations uh, in, in Eurowise than uh, the increase in, in uh, digital channels. And just a little bit of history. Uh, how we uh, ordered, uh, State of Finland ordered national online casino from us a couple of years ago. And before that, we've been uh, operating with uh, um, land-based lot machines and casinos uh, more than seven decades. And uh, State of Finland ordered that uh, we should have best possible responsible gaming tools and also that consumption to abroad needed to be minimized. It's very imp uh, interesting here when I'm in Finland, in uh, Orland, is this a fraud? <laughs> or is it not a fraud, but it's not, it's not yes. <laughs> <laughs> I like to think that way too. So now we have uh, online for Finland, Finnish mainland also. And we opened uh, November five years ago and we have this is only sl uh, we have slot games and table games and poker. And we have very strict this customer identification and verification, but I go through that uh, quite fast. And, um, and there are some mandatory features set by the regulator and us uh, together. Whenever uh, our uh, player registers to our uh, gaming site, he must set both daily limit and monthly loss limit. These are loss limits. And we can say that uh, this has been quite, at least monthly loss limit is very effective tool. We, uh, we really lose money with that. But uh, we, I'd like to think that when people have to set those limits, uh, when they are, like he was, uh, like, like Silla said, in cold state of mind, and in, in their cold state of mind, they must decide how much they uh, can afford to play in a, uh, in a day and in a month. Uh, they can't go over there, uh, not any suggestions. They really, really cut off the playing after that. And maybe they are working. Of course, we don't know uh, how well they are working. We, we don't know what happens when somebody hits a limit with us. We don't have any research on that. Maybe they go to uh, other Finnish companies uh, or uh, maybe they go offshore to offshore companies. I've read some, I think it's in Norway, they have done some research over that and it was surprisingly big uh, part of the people who didn't go to other uh, sites when they hit their limits, but I don't want to talk, about, it's not our research. But, but hopefully they work. And besides those mandatory features that you must set your own limi limit, uh, regulator set the maximum daily loss limit, and it's 500 euros a day to a category table games and then uh, table games like uh, slot machines. And you might say it's altogether to 1,000. It's uh, from a working man's point of view, it's quite a lot of money, but prevents people, for example, who have done some like, uh, 
fraud or something to play uh, millions of uh, euros a day. And there are some other uh, solutions that we have made, but you can check them later if you are interested. And then I was asked to uh, give you some innovation you know, initiatives that we have, we have made. I think we were first to launch this panic button. It's a kind of self-exclusion, but it's uh, for 12 hours only. And it's always it's, uh, how it's different from basic self-exclusion is that uh, usually when you want to self-exclude yourself, you go to the uh, my account leave, uh, fly leave or something like that, and you do it in other place. But this panic button is always visible. Like you see, it's not very very visible, but you can always see it when you when you play. And you, if you press that 12-hour button and then uh, confirm that you are totally out of our gaming for 12 hours. And it's quite surprising that, um, of course, we thought that people use this when they have been losing a lot, but it's quite surprising that it's mostly used when people are winning. And what can we say about that? Maybe that um, they have been winning before. It's, it's not the first time that they are on a positive side and they uh, every time lost all their winnings. So they might work that way that they, uh, when they hit, for example, 200 euros up, then they press the panic button. And it's quite, uh, quite, li quite uh, popular. Altogether, our self-exclusions, uh, they, they are very widely used. That, and I think that's very, uh, very visible that we need to have them because we have about 90,000 active players who, play, who have played uh, during the last three months. And uh, on a yearly basis, 18,000 different people use safe exclusion. So uh, it's about five of that figure. And I think that shows that um, online fast games like slot machines are quite, quite risky games. And then the other one, the other innovation is um, whenever a player activates any self-exclusion, we uh, ask him if he wants to, um, he can request a phone call from uh, our national helpline, Peluri. And he can always, uh, or also request a material package to his email that, uh, about uh, gambling problems and where to seek help and that kind of thing. And I think those are quite new things. Uh, they aren't new to, any, uh, to us anymore. We have that those for three years, but I don't know anybody else who has these. And that's it. Thank you.